Hi guys and welcome to the August 21st Texas Fly Fishing Report. If you've been here before you know who I am. My name is Shannon and this report comes to you from North Central Texas. Now from here uh, I fly fish for carp and guide for carp on Lake Ray Roberts just about 10 miles north of Denton, Texas where I live. Uh, be sure and check that out. If you're interested in going out on a technical polling skiff for carp, I'm your guy. Lake Ray Roberts, Texas, 940-380-0408. We've got an interesting situation set up now on this Texas Fly Fishing Report. I'm going to go back and quote someone from the Bush administration and say we have knowns, we have unknowns, we have known unknowns, and unknown unknowns going on right now in the Texas Fly Fishing Report. Let me repeat that for you. I don't think I can do it. Let's start with the knowns. We had Hurricane Hannah hit the coast about a month and a half ago. Month, month and a half. Dead center on Port Mansfield, Texas. My favorite place on the Texas Gulf Coast. I haven't been there since, but I uh, should be headed back down there next month. Uh, with all things go well. I come to you now from my Airstream trailer. And I'll tell you what I know about that is it's not done yet. I've had this trailer since 2005 and uh, we're get heading towards because of the pandemic the final push to get this ready and get out of town North Texas and especially Dallas uh, County is a, is a hot zone we're gonna leave the virus behind though we know that What's unknown right now, and of course another known is what I know about my local fishing and, and the guiding here um, for carp and the water and weather conditions here in North Texas. Uh, unknowns, tropical storm headed straight for Houston according to the, uh, the map predictions. It's not, not here yet. Uh, Texas, Texas is a big state. We'll get rain from that all the way up here in Dallas if it hits dead on on Houston as the track is showing right now the thing is up here is the weather has been pretty cool the last three or four days we got one more day of that when i say cool we're getting high at about 90 degrees 92 degrees which is just amazing really amazing for the end of august and uh so that's uh, a good break for us and of course i'm taking advantage of it right now with with taking folks out and guiding right now i've got a trip tomorrow it should be pretty good um, the unknowns are that tropical storm so we'll see what it does if it gains strength i would guess that it'll gain some strength but not as much as the last one Hur hurricane hannah did because of this cooling trend uh, it just feels like that uh, it won't have as much heat to fuel it so we'll see um, that's the unknown so uh, weather is always an unknown in Texas all across Texas and we don't know what this tropical storm is going to do as far as bringing more water into the systems up up along the Texas Gulf Coast especially the northern side but we do know that we do have a known and that is that Hannah did raise water levels all along the Texas Gulf Coast which is kind of interesting when I say raise water levels that means the bays got higher So I guess you could file this tropical storm under a known unknown. We know that we don't know what's going to happen. Now what I do is if you stick or you fast forward, you can fast forward to the end. And I've got a Texas Parks and Wildlife scroll at the end that goes through their version of all the different lakes in the coastal regions of Texas. Um, I just rip that right off their report because it's I pay taxes to the state of Texas, so I have the right to do that. And then I post it on there and you can listen to some great music at the end and watch the scroll for water near where you are. The one thing they always have left out, unfortunately, is rivers. I can tell you that the, due to the lack of rainfall, river situations are not good at as far as flows. So I've read that uh, the Guadalupe River, for example, is, is down to a minimum flow and that is harmful because um, that will raise temperatures for those uh, definitely non-native trout that are in the guad. So that goes through the known unknowns, unknowns, and knowns. Now what I don't know 
is when this will be done. That's an unknown unknown. And when you're working on Airstream trailers, you can go to my other YouTube channel. It's called Airstream Diary and ride along with me on that and see all the work that's going or some of the work that's going on. You can't see it all because it's been going on for 10 years. Uh, long before YouTube was YouTube and uh, well slightly before YouTube was YouTube and uh, you'll find some tips and information if you want to rebuild your Airstream ground up like I did I mean this is a brand new frame underneath that I welded up steel instead of aluminum so it's very solid better plywood this is a 1970 Airstream Safari so it's uh, not the smallest but not the biggest in that time period but it's also unique in the 70 airstream safari one unique thing i'll just throw this in here on the fly fishing report <laughs> is that uh it's a single axle usually they're double double or dual axle so just interesting and compromised um let's go back let me tell you about north texas right now you know my thing is carp on the flats very shallow water well the flats as the water drops and the lake drops because of no rain new flats are exposed old flats become dry so it's really a great situation a great setup right now two things are happening those those new flats are getting exposed and they're very 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 productive you can't get there anyway but by motorboat kayak won't get you there and number two is, I forgot what number two is. Number one is that, <laughs> is that they uh, are exposed. And number two is the heat back in the coves is getting so intense because it's been in the hundreds before now or nearly 100 degrees every day before now, this last stretch, that uh, the water was too hot. So the combination of the flats going away and pushing on the new flats and mostly the, the water temperature going up means these fish have come out of the coves, the deepest coves, and now they're in on flats that are facing the open water of the lake, which is just it's the most gorgeous, freshest water, coolest, coolest place to be temperature wise. And I know that. That's a known known. And so we've been polling on those flats. It's a little more exposed to the wind, but man, the fish are very, very, very accommodating. It's been really good. I'm, I'm sure I've got some pictures of scroll in this as well. So enjoy your week. It's going to be an interesting week in Texas because of this tropical storm. You know, it could pick up intensity. I don't really know what the temperatures are, but if you follow on Instagram, what you'll see is that um, I'll post pictures from the National Weather Service post not pictures but satellite images from the National Weather Service that will uh, maybe show the track or show the intensity of the eye and things like that. I'm a, a pretty experienced in hurricanes as I grew up on the Texas Gulf Coast down in the Rio Grande Valley. So that's that's my knowledge. I've I've had to tape windows, plywood windows. I've had to evacuate appliances and stuff from our beach house at South Padre Island back when we had that. And so uh, uh, it was intense and it was, uh, I've been down there for tropical storms and hurricanes in, in my early life. They don't hardly reach up here, but they do occasionally actually bring some weather to North Texas. I know that too. So if there are any knowns that you have, give them to me and they won't be unknowns anymore. I don't know that there are any unknowns that you know that I don't know, but you might know. <laughs> and unknown unknowns we'll just get to those as we get to them thank you rumsfeld thank you guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and as always call me or text me at 940-380-0408 and i'll be glad to respond to you with information that is current and I, if you ask me i'll put you on the hot spot list and that will tell you precisely where the fish are at any given time that I know where they are for sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great weekend and a great week. Probably be back to you in the first week of September, if not next weekend. Things are starting to pick up in intensity, and I'm definitely headed for the coast. I just don't know how far or how long it's going to be next month. Thanks for watching.